Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Jane. So today's video is a little bit of a DIY. I got a couple of jumpers if you remembered. This is one of them that I thrifted a few months ago and I was never happy with the neckline. So I'm going to show you how I've transformed one of these jumpers from a neckline like this into a neckline like that. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. so welcome back yeah so if you remember I did a um, like a thrift haul vlog I popped the card up here to remind you if you haven't seen that video and I got myself some jumpers in fact I got four jumpers one two three and four amongst other things it was buy one get one free and I have worn these jumpers seriously I think they only cost like 150 150 and it was buy one get one free so I got like four for three pound something like that and uh, I've worn them laid them like I'm wearing this one but I was never really happy with the high neckline as you can see because I like to layer my clothes and I like to be able to see what's underneath so if I wanted to wear like a, a blouse with a little tie detail then you, you can't see it and here I've got my Edith blouse on with this gorgeous ruffle neck but you, you can't see it so what I've been doing is kind of rolling it down a little bit just looking at the monitor there which is fine you know but throughout the day it pops up or doesn't a bit bulky and I just thought right I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna have a go at tweaking the neckline obviously I was a little bit nervous as you you know as you do uh, thinking oh I'm gonna be cutting into something and I'm gonna ruin it but at the end of the day I just thought to myself I'm not gonna ruin it I'm not gonna ruin it I'm gonna do it I'm quite capable of doing it and if it does all go pear-shaped it's not the end of the world it's just a jumper I've got four of them and it literally cost me 75p for a jumper if you're like me I don't like waste and I don't like purposely wasting things so that was kind of making me think oh you're spoiling this jumper and then it's going to be ruined but no if you think like I do glass half full or if you think you can do something then nine times out of ten you can do it so I've just basically done it so I took this jumper and I've transformed it so I'm going to take you over to my overhead camera and show you exactly what I did so obviously I've got my supervisor again so I've just got to basically wait at least finished to get him out of the way and he soon gets bored um, so yeah so that's the jumper in question I've just picked this colour out of the four colours no particular reason and it's just this neckline I've just never really liked it it's just a little bit too high for me I just like to cut it down a bit and I have been wearing it kind of rolled over like I showed you before like rolled over or rolled under but I would I would really love it just to be like that that like like that length that height all the time and as you can see me there just like folding it under that's what I would like it to kind of be like and I took really my inspiration you can just see it's an old British Home Stars jumper. Oh, I love that shop. Sadly, no longer, no longer with us now in the United Kingdom. It was a lovely shop, but I digress. Um, and my inspiration was this sweater, which is another one that I thrifted at the same time. I think it was, and I just love that neckline. It's just the perfect neckline for me. It's you know, it's not too low, so you can wear it on its own, and it's not too high that you can still layer things underneath. So that was my inspiration and basically this sweater, they're very, very similar in size and shape. The only difference is that neckline. So when I line it up there, you can see there's very little difference. So I'm just like feeling where I would like the jumper to be cut, I suppose. And I'm just gonna pop a pin in there as a marker just to give me an idea just zoom in a little bit so you can see but there's not a lot of difference and I thought well if I just use the difference there as you can just see where I'm going to put my pin in from where I put my pin in to just the top of where the ribbon starts there's not off there's not an awful lot of difference and I thought I could use that difference as my kind of seam allowance so I'm just popping a few pins in there just to give me an idea of what I'm looking at and where I'm aiming for just remove that sweater and you can see that literally is like a seam, seam allowance width really left between the jumpers so my idea is to have the neckline finishing there 
and maybe use the where the turtleneck ends cut it there and like have that extra that little bit there as my seam allowance and I think Geordie approves too so I'm just going to literally cut around the edge of that turtleneck I'm just going to go for it just going to get my scissors and cut the turtleneck wish me luck So I'm just basically calculating how much I want of that turtleneck to use for my new neckline. Just quickly looking at that jumper that I'm using to like the inspiration for and I think I'm just going to cut it off and probably cut it in half again but you shall see. So here goes, just insert my scissors, make a little bit of a pilot hole. Obviously I want to be really delicate doing this, I don't want to like hack into it and spoil the knitted part of the jumper so I just want to be as delicate as I can and try and get my, my scissors in there they're a little bit too big I think really but get my scissors in there and be as delicate as I can and not um, lose any stitches in the sweater if you know what I mean don't want to cause any laddering or anything like that so I'm just snipping away I'm not going to handle it overly handle it just going to literally snip away this turtle neck. There we go so that was fairly painless and like I said I have been really delicate cutting it out and I'm not going to overly handle it so that's what I'm left with that obviously what I've cut off and I'm just going to just going to cut it apart so I've got more to play with and then trim it down and use probably half again of that for my new neckline so I'm just literally going to insert my stitch ripper and open up that seam there. there we go so just taking off those little bits there and you can see how deep that turtle neck part was I'm just going to unpick the label and then I can see what I've got to play with So I'm just going to cut down the middle there, that crease line you can see because that is more than enough to create the neckline that I need. So, And it should just fit perfectly as well because I haven't actually adjusted the neckline as such. All I've done is trimmed away the, cat, the turtleneck section. I haven't actually lowered the neckline or widened the neckline. So... I can literally hopefully fingers crossed my thinking is that I can just pop this new neckline edging on without having to adjust it at all it should just go back on and fit perfectly so that's my theory so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to snip it down that crease line all the way around and then use that to put back on to the jumper So 
so there you go you can see I'm just literally folding it in half pinning the edges together and that's it's as easy as that on this particular occasion on this particular sweater I can't promise it's going to be as easy as that on a different type of sweaters but on this style of sweater it's as simple as that and as I said before it's just literally going to go back on because I haven't adjusted the actual neckline on the sweater at all so fingers crossed I can pin this straight on and then take it to my overlocker and attach it back onto the sweater So I'm just lining up the back of that new neckline to the back of the sweater, popping a pin in there, I'll pop a pin at the centre front and probably one on either shoulder just to give me an idea of placement really and then when I come to overlock it I will obviously stretch the neckline and not the sweater, the new neckline ribbing, I will stretch that to fit the sweater. So I'll just pop, pop a few pins in. Jody's just couldn't make sure I'm doing it correctly obviously uh, pop a few pins in and then I'll go over to the overlocker So that went on really well on the overlocker there, I just had to gently pull that new neckline and obviously I was given full approval from Geordie and uh, yeah so that's how easy it was and I think it looks really really good and just that's what's left over so literally cut it in half as simple as that for this, for this particular DIY um, and I'm just comparing it to my other sweater and it just literally lines up almost the exact as the one on the top there so i have achieved what i set out to achieve i think and i just zoom in and show you get geordie out the way and there's the sweater and there's the new neckline underneath it lines up almost perfectly exactly the same and how cute is geordie's nose there at the top of the screen so cute So I literally want to do the same on all the remaining three jumpers next, so watch this space. This is just a reminder of how the jumper looked before. And here is the jumper after. I just think it's an absolutely massive improvement. You can see the pretty neckline on my collar of my blouse underneath. I think it's absolutely brilliant, absolutely love it. I wish I'd done it, I wish I'd done it earlier. So now I am going to be going through the remaining three, I'm going to do it to all three. It's just transformed the neckline and it was really, really simple. I'm super chuffed. I can't stop smiling because I am that chuffed. And I wish I'd done it months before because I like this type of jumper. You've got the short sleeve, so you've got the jumper effect, a little cosy layer where you can wear your nice pretty blouses underneath and layer and loads of different things you can, you know, swap and mix and match with. Perfect type of jumper for me, this. It was just that neckline, it wasn't quite me. But yeah, how simple was that? So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this little video come kind of tutorial and I'd love to read your comments so let me know what you think. 
and if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give me that lovely little like and subscribe if you haven't already done so if you want to follow along with me that is and yeah so I'm going to be busy doing the rest of these which didn't take me long at all and also now now I know how simple this is next time I go thrifting and I see a jumper with like a polo neck or a high neck and it puts me off I think no no I don't like the neck well then it won't put me off anymore because I think I'll just change the neck as I can now and so can you if you try it so yeah so thanks for joining me today I hope you had a little bit of fun watching me change my jumpers and uh, I shall see you on my next video bye for now mm -hmm.